Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the user interface of the JMeter. So let's begin. In our previous session, we learned about the different folders and the purpose of those folders in the JMeter. Now, open this folder here, go to the bin folder, and you know that in order to run the JMeter, we need to open the JMeter.batch file. Okay, so here is the batch file. Okay, just double click on this file. It will open the terminal. And at the same time, it will open the UI of the JMeter. Okay, it's opening the UI, right? So this is uh, the first look for you in order to understand this is how the JMeter looks like. But before we understand this UI, okay, uh, we need to understand something more in terms of the best practices. Just open this terminal here. And if you read the first line, don't use the UI mode for the load testing. Only use this for the test creation and test debugging. So what this means? This means that this UI is used for only creating and debugging the scripts. So whenever you are putting or executing the load test, you will use the command line. We will not open this one. So this is one of the best practice you should be aware of and while you are working with the JMeter and performance testing. Now let's explore the different options and different areas of the JMeter UI. Okay. On the left, by default, you will have a test plan. So test plan is an area where you will create your scripts. And here in the JMeter, your script is basically a combination of the different elements. Okay. And on the right side, basically whenever you add any element, it has some properties. Okay. So on the right side, you will see the properties of that particular element. Right now, test plan is selected by default. So you are seeing the properties for this particular plan. Okay. Now let's add some element here. I'm adding a thread group. So if you don't know about the thread group, don't worry. We will learn about the thread groups in our upcoming sessions. So on the left, it will create a tree hierarchy for you. Okay. And on the right side, you will see a different properties of that particular element. Now let's add one more element here. Okay. Right. So on the right side, you're seeing the properties of flow control action. And on the left side, it is creating a tree hierarchy of your script. So this is the main area where you will work. Okay. You will add different elements in the test plan and you will create your script. So this is the main and core idea of working on the JMeter. On the top left corner, you, you are seeing the menu bar. We have different options here. Click on the file here. You can open the new one. You can use the templates. If you remember that we saw the templates in different folder, right? So if you want to use those templates, you can use from this templates option. You can open the existing script. Okay. You can open the recent one. If you have created any recent one, you can merge the script. You can save or you can save the plan as, as you want. So there are different options. Okay. You can even restart the JMeter from here. Now click on the add, edit. You have different options to add it to your scripts. You can duplicate, copy, paste, merge. Again, you have different options. The good thing is that you have an other option to enable or disable the different elements present here. Okay. For example, if I select this one, if I click on edit and I click on disable, so this element will be disabled tomorrow. If you are working on debugging the script and your script is not fine, or you might need to disable some elements during your execution, you can disable those elements from here. Then we have a search option here. From here, you can search any element. If you want to search any particular thing, you can search it out. You can replace it out as per your requirement. Okay. Then you have a run options. Now we just discussed that in order to execute our load testing scripts, we need to use the command line. Then the question arises here, why we need to have these options on the UI then. So we need these options in the UI in two cases. The one case is that you want to test your scripts. You want to debug your scripts. And for that, you will be executing your script with a single user. Okay. So in that case, you can run your scripts with a single user just like a functional test. Okay. Similarly, when you are working on different machines, for example, you have six different machines from which you are generating a load. Okay. From where you have six J meters working together. In that case, you have to run all the J meter machines from here together. So the concept is basically remote distribution testing. We will learn that in our future sessions, but here's the overview of this particular run options. Okay. Now we have different options here. Look and feel if you want to change the look and feel the theme 
theme okay and if you want to see a log viewer just click on this one so it will print all the logs here while execution and you can also set the level of the logs if you want to have the ssl okay just click on this one add the ssl certificate so you can do that from here zoom in zoom out then you can add the plugin managers uh, you can have you can add a different plugins using this plugin manager by default you won't be able to see this plugin manager okay i will explain you how you can have this plugin manager in the jmeter and how you can add the different plugins using this plugin manager okay then we have tools from here you create a heap dumps don't worry about uh, this term right now but again you have different options here you can create a HTML report you can export the transactions you can import the curl you have different tools available here and again in the help section basically you can have a help and you can go to some useful links like release notes and if you find some issue you can create an issue okay you have very good documentation available here now you can see that you have different icons available here so basically these icons are reflecting to these different options available here in the menu bar okay so in order to go to some quick actions okay for example if you want to create a new one just click on this new one okay if you want to use a template you can use from here quickly okay so these are kind of a shortcuts and quick options okay you can run you can start you can stop okay you can clean clear you can search okay these are all options which were present in the menu so these are kind of a shortcuts and quick accessible so that you don't need to open the menu bar and search for a particular option on the right side so whenever you execute it will show the time here and if there are errors it will show the errors here okay and if you click on this one so you might not see this option here because this is this icon refers to a jmeter plugins manager by default you won't have this uh, you have to do some actions you need to place these uh, plugin files in order to work with the plugins okay so this is all about the ui of the jmeter thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture